So when you first time open the ArchiCAD, you are going to get a window like this. So as you can see from here that we are using the listed, latest version of the ArchiCAD that is ArchiCAD 24. So if you want to create a new model, you just simply need to click on this one. If you want to browse uh, the previously defined uh, model, you can go with this one. Or if you are working on a team, then you have to go with this one. So right now what I will do is I will go with this option here that is new. So let's click on that one. Okay. And after that it is going to take some time. Okay. As you can see here that it is giving me some kind of warning. So you just need to close that one. If you're getting this kind of warning. warning. So here you will get these template. Okay. So here you can see create a new template. So if you click on this drop down button, you can see that we have Archicad 24 template. If you have any other template, you can go and browse the template from here. So right now what I will do is here is the working in environment. So what you can do is you can go to this one that is a default profile. Okay. Whatever the default profile of the Archicad and uh, this is the first time so we will go with this one and after that click on new. So uh, this is the window of the Archicad that you are looking here that this is the space. Uh, this is the working space and we have uh, this floor here that is the ground floor and you can see the elevation here that is west elevation. Here is our south elevation and if you look here in this region I am panning just by use of the middle mouse track and zooming with the help of mouse. This is the east elevation. So this is the elevation. This is the 3D view. Okay. So right now we don't have any 3D view so you won't be able to see any kind of thing. And this is for elevation. Okay, you can see this is for elevation ground floor. We have a story one at plus three meters and a story two as six meters. Okay. So this is the elevation, and here we have a bunch of different things. And here this is our toolbox, and these are all the panels. So we are going to look at these in the next lecture. In this lecture, we are going to see about the toolbox. Okay. So this is the toolbox here. Okay. And if you uh, let's go to ground floor and let me show you something here is that right now we are at the ground floor. Okay. We are at this elevation and here we have the arrow tool. We have marquee tool and we have these three tab basically. Okay. We have this design viewpoint and document. So right now if you have any kind of trouble in looking that you can just increase the size to this. Okay. Now you have a clear idea that this is design, this is viewpoint and this is document. If you click on this one, you will have in design uh, these options available. Let's say what you are going to design. You can design the wall. So this option is available. You can design the column. You can design the beam. You can design the slab. You can design the roof. You can design the stairs and all these options are available here. So this is the purpose of the design toolbox. Okay, here. So now that you have exactly understand what is design toolbox, we will go ahead and we will look at viewpoint. And here you, in viewpoint, you can see we have this uh, detail tool. We have interior ele elevation tool. We have worksheet tool. So basically, uh, we have section tool. So these tools are available here for the viewpoint. You can see the elevation tool and all these things here, the camera tool. So this is for the viewpoint. Okay. So now let's look at the document. So here in the document, you will see that we have this dimension tool. You know, all these elements we are going to use for the annotation. Okay. You can see that we have text tool. We have uh, these. So you just don't need to uh, ask to someone, Hey, what exactly it is? You can just take your mouse cursor to these elements and it will give you that what exactly the use of it. So in this way you can understand you can see this is the drawing tool. So these are the three uh, tools that we are going to use in the future lectures. 
so now uh, let me close this is or what you can do is you can just decrease the size like this so that you can have a better space for working also i would like to show you something here is that uh, if you take your mouse cursor to this region here over you can just scroll your mouse and you're going to get all these things here the same thing here is well you can just simply need to scroll your mouse and you can scroll up and down in this region okay just like here and just like here also i would like to show you one more thing here is that if you look here at this region here okay you can actually use and uh, rotate uh, you can take this one out as the per your requirement you can see and you can adjust it somewhere uh, here like that you can see so if you look here you can see that there is a small line over here you just simply need to click uh, just select this one you can drag anywhere in this region and like that you can move ahead as per your requirement so uh, this is the overview of the toolbox in archicad 24 In this lecture, we are going to look at the info box. So what we are going to do first is that if you take your mouse cursor to this design and this is wall tool and if you look here, you will see that you have a small uh, drop right button. Okay, if you click on that one, you will get all these details here. You can see. Okay, so now I am going to press escape to get out of the command and, and again, I'm going to press the escape. So what exactly the info box is so this is the info box as you can see here that right now i have not selected any of these command so that's why it is blank here as soon as you are going to select this command you will get these bunch of different options here and you can scroll scroll through these okay by using your mouse so you can see here uh, also, what we are going to do here is that if you also going to double click on that one, you are going to get the default setting for this. Okay, so this is the default setting. This you can also call that one as info box, but this having a much better viewing experience than this one. Okay, so from here, uh, you can see that uh, right now we have opened the window. Oh, sorry, open the wall and in order to open that any of these you just simply need to double click on that one and it will automatically take you to the wall default setting so if you look at this one you can clearly understand what exactly we are doing the home story is situated at the ground floor that is current and the top uh, uh, story link is uh, connected to the home story one it means that the wall will be drawn from the ground story to the story home and here, here you have bunch of these options. You can see that basic composite complex. You can see about this. You can click on this one and you will get all these details. So you can see that this is generic uh, structure and there are a bunch of different things. Also, if you look at floor plan and section, you will get all these details about the floor plan and section. You can click on model to look at the model you can uh, look at the structural analytic parameters and you can have the classification and properties as well so what you can do you can model modify this thing uh, before placing uh, the wall or even after placing the wall so you don't need to worry about any kind of mistake you can just modify that one later so let me show you one more thing here is that if you let me close this one so let's say i click on this tab here okay this one here okay that is wall tool and i am going to press control tree from my keyboard and after that you will get again the same window so either you can double click on that one to get this window or you can just simply press control t from window to get this window okay this window so in both ways you can access this window now we will look at some other uh, uh, tool let's look at the column tool let me click here and now whatever you have properties in say is seeing here is of the column you can scroll through this info box okay just like this or what you can do is you can simply enter control t from your keyboard 
to bring these information. So you can see you have your column a dimension here. This is the width and this is the length. You can have all these settings here. If you want to change this one, you just simply need to go ahead and change it here. You have the position. Okay, you have uh, these uh, positioning. You have end cuts and reference accesses. You can see you have the segment, you have floor plans and all these bunch of different options are available here. So you can see this is the preview of that one. If you want to rotate, you can just simply use your left click to rotate it like this. You can have the classification and properties here. Also, if you want to oh, bring that one, you can just double click and you will get this window. Okay. Now let's look at some of the other parameters. So now let's look at this one that is curtain tool or let's look at the window tool. So as you can see here that all these info box are different from the previous one. It means that the window have obviously uh, some kind of different properties than column or wall. So in that case, you will get something like this. Or if you want to, what you can do here is that uh, you can just enter control T from your keyboard. Also, you can uh, get this kind of thing here. So you have this uh, vertical multi uh, sash or window 24 you have window 24 and you have all these things you have preview and positions you have basic window settings you can see floor plan and section you can see from here dimension markers that uh, you can control from here marker style okay uh, if i click on any of these or you, if you go here and if i click here you can see that this is the preview of this one so like that you will get all these properties from here as well so in this way you have to access the info box and these are some of the details related with the info box so if i just press escape you will see nothing here that means that we are out of this command in this lecture we are going to look at the menu bar okay so if you look at the menu bar, you can clearly see that this is our menu bar from file to help. These all are our menu bars. So first of all, we will look at file. So in file, you have a bunch of different options so that you can create a new file. You can open that one. You have save as option, save option. You can export this one. You have the plot setup and all these things are available in file. Now let's look at edit. So edit, you have a bunch of different options of, you can see undo, you can undo that one, redo, cut, copy, paste, select all and locking and all these different features are available in edit. Now let's move ahead and look at the view. So on view, you have uh, the option of a uh, construction grid display. You can control the grid line element slab, uh, snap and we have uh, these snapping options here element in 3d view how we are going to look that one a structural analysis model okay and the option of that one here in the view now if you go to design obviously in design uh, we have these options available on this architectural tool uh, we have also the structural and engineering tools available and mvp tool available for these and also you can uh, have a bunch of different option of modifying and all these things designing. So uh, this is uh, this uh, this menu is related with the design. Now let's look at the document. So in document you have uh, these options available. You can see uh, you can have a graphical override. So you can have these plans. You can have schedules. You have listing extras drawings. So you can uh, control annotations. So you can control all these things from here. So basically it is for the layout drawing. Okay. As you can see here, now let's go ahead and look at the option. So if you look at option, you can have uh, these options. So here you can see that we have some uh, sort of specific uh, uh, options that is available. We have work environment and all these details are here. So now let's look at the teamwork and teamwork uh, right now. Most of the options are grayed out. Okay. So here uh, you have send and receive, you can see, you can send changes. You have uh, receive versus changes. What will happen if I just simply click on any of these. And if you go to teamwork now, you, even after that, you are going to see a window like this. So these options are grayed out because we have not uh, 
set up our project okay so these are uh, some of the things that you will get so basically teamwork is used to uh, create uh, uh, let's say uh, we are working in a team my partner is working on the same project so that we we can share these things now let's look at the window so in window we have uh, these options available you can nav navigate to stories and all these things from here you can close tab project you can close all uh, tabs and projects so you can uh, enter full screen mode so all these things you can control it from here as you can see from here and in help you have uh, uh, this documentation help whether you want the documentation help of the pdf or you want uh, the online resources uh, just like uh, from these uh, archicad downloads and youtube you can also look at all these things so this is uh, for uh, this is for the menu bar in this lecture we are going to look at the tool parts okay so if you want to access the toolbar you just simply need to go to windows and after that you can click on this toolbars and you have bunch of different options for this toolbar as you can see here if i click on this 3d visualization i have these options available for renderings and 3d project settings and all these things perspective and all these things are here so if you want to set it uh, somewhere here you can set it up here as well okay just like that you can see also you can again go to windows go to toolbars and you can have this arrange element option so you can see that we can also adjust these things uh, if you want to close this one let's say i have uh, bought this one you can just simply click here and you can close this one now let's look at some of more toolbars here also you have the drafting aids okay you can see that you can turn on this grid snap you can turn on this uh, all these settings are available here so you can actually uh, snap on these grid as you can see here that i'm being able to snap on these grids so let's turn off this you can just select this and you can uh, set it up on the upper side as well so all this arrangement is as per your requirement or how you likes uh, whether you want this one on this side or whether you like this one on this side so after that uh, let's look at uh, some more options okay let's more let's look at some more toolbars let's go to windows toolbars and also you have the model check simple 3d standard low and structural learning you have the team you have the tools okay These are the tools for the architecture as you can see from here as well you can see we have bunch of different options just like this one you can see okay so now what i will do is i will close this one now that you have an idea of how to access the toolbars and we have bunch of different toolbars you can just simply click on this one to close that one here as well you can see i just closed that one and right now i am having a this window so i can also turn off this window from there as well if you have any kind of problem in snapping that one so you can just bring back here or you can close that one from here or what you can do is you can go to windows and toolbars and you can also uh, control these things from here as well okay so in this way you have to access the toolbars and in this way you have to set up the things in the toolbars in this lecture we are going to look at the palettes so basically there are many students who messed uh, up with their palettes and they just asked me that how to solve this problem because they just messed up, up with this palette so let's say that uh, you go to this oh, first of all let's look at the palette so we'll go to windows and we have this palette option so here uh, as you can see here that these four settings are tick mark so what will happen if i just uh, close this one toolbox you will see the toolbox is hidden now if you want to bring that back you can uh, go to windows click on palettes and after that you just simply need to click on this one so you can bring back this one 
now let's say that you want to bring that one here you can bring that one here as well you if you want to increase uh, this thickness you can increase that one as well just like that you can see so that's totally depend on you or if you want to set it somewhere here you can not set it because you can see the size of this one here okay so now what you have to do is you have to adjust it just like this and adjust it just like this so also in that way also you can adjust all these things you can see and if you want to close this you can just simply click on close now if you go back to uh, windows and if you click on palettes and click on toolbar you will see that you are again getting this kind of toolbox okay so we will see about that how we can restore all these things after messing with all these things so now let's say you want to bring back something else from the palette so i will click on palette and if you want to more space what you can do is you can turn off these options or you can just click on you can just bring back here i'm going to close this you can just go ahead and turn all of these palettes here okay so right now you can see that we have much more spaces and uh, than we what we are getting earlier so after that uh, what you can do if you want something else you can go to window you can go to palettes and you can bring got some any other palette so let's click on this one so we have these options available you can you can see that this is elevation again we can go to window we can go to palette and you can bring bot any kind let's click on this photo rendering settings so you can bring this photo rendering settings okay you can control the rendering light and all these things effect from here let's go to windows again let's look at the palette so these all are palette details you can see these are the let's click on quick options so let's look at what exactly it is so in quick, quick options we can see that we have these a bunch of different options available we have draft entire model and these things are available you can also bring it somewhere here okay just like uh, the other one and you can set it up here as well and you can just control the size as well just like the other one okay you can increase this one you can decrease this one okay so now that we have understand how exactly we have to access uh, the palettes and how we can control all these things okay so now let's say that you just messed up with all these things and you want to restore it back to the default one so for that what you have to do you just simply need to go to option and click on work environment okay click on work environment and after that you have this option available that is apply profile so let's simply uh, go to here and right now we are going to go ahead with our textual profile that is a 24 okay so let's click on this one or you can go to the basic profile so let's click on the basic profile 21 and there you have all the previous uh, settings with this okay just like this one so everything is restored as you can see here everything is here you can just decrease this one just like that you can decrease this one as well so now everything has been restored to normal and in this way you have to restore these palettes in this lecture we are going to see about the pet palette so what exactly it is and what is the benefit of having it so so what I will do is as you can see here that right now I am at the ground floor as you can see from here and after that I will go and select this wall option and I will take my mouse cursor zoom in in this region okay let's say in this region and I will do a simple click here and a simple click here just to model this wall and after that uh, what I will do is I will just press escape okay two times to get out of this wall command as you can see here that I have not selected any of this command and you can verify the same from here as well so uh, what I'm going to do next is I will take my mouse cursor and click on this region okay and as you can see here as I have clicked uh, here I'm getting these options okay you can see that I can just move with this one this wall is some region here okay 
So let me press escape and let me show you how I got this. You just simply need to click here when you are going to get this tick mark. Okay. And again, you have to click here or you can see that again, you will get this option or what you can do if you in hurry, you can just click double times to get these options. Okay. So, or let's say I want to move this one. I want to drag this one so I can drag it like this. Now let's say that I just changed my mind. So I can go with this option. I can go with rotate. So first of all, you need to set up the initial point. I will click on this initial point. And after that, I will choose this one and I can rotate this wall as per my choice. Okay. You can see, let's say I want to rotate this wall in this direction, in this direction. Okay. Now let's again, I will uh, do a double click here. And after that, I will press escape. Or what you can do is you can just click here, single click here. And uh, you just simply need to go to this mirror option. Let's say you want to mirror this one. So you have to click the point. Okay. Let's say I will choose this point and you can mirror it like this. Okay. As you can see here, let's press escape and let's click on this one here. Okay. And now let's say you want to mirror about this line. You can mirror uh, it this way as, as well. Okay. You can see now let's say I just changed my mind. I want to do something else with this one. So I can go to this one here that I can elevate this one. Elevate. I, I want the, uh, I want to elevate this wall. Let's say by two units. And um, um, let's say I just again change my mind. So this is the benefit of uh, this pet palette. You can uh, just go ahead and do various kinds of things with this uh, pet palette. And that is very handy and it is going to save you a lot of time. So let's click on the last option. If you look here, you can see that you have these options available. You can see you can drag and rotate. You want to rotate it, this one in the distributed shape. You can do that as well. You can elevate. And all these bunch of different options are available. Okay. So oh, now what I will do is I will just simply click on close. And so this is uh, for the pet palette where you can save a lot of time. So what I will do is I will uh, show you a some a more tool. Let's go to the document and here uh, we have with this fill tool. Okay. So let's go to fill tool here. So what you can do here is that with the help of fill tool, you can actually draw or something like this. Okay. And now there you have the fill tool. So what I will do is I'll get out of this command. After that, I will select this one here. And I, uh, after se selecting this, uh, right now you can select on this edge or you can go with this node. So first of all, what I will do is I will click on this center part as well. So for this, uh, you have uh, these palette option. You can move this palette option here. Okay. Uh, what you can do here is that you can draw it like this. Again, you can click on this one and there uh, right now we have clicked on the node. So we will look at this node later. So let, let me press escape. So if I click on this one again, you have bunch of different option on these. Oh, so as you can see here that I'm uh, Selecting on these mids of these lines. I'm not, I have not selected the nodes. So you will get a bunch of different options. You can see you can create the radius like that. You can have a distance, something like that. Or if you want to add something to it, you can add to the polygon here as well. You can see you have bunch of different options available. You can increase or decrease by just scrolling your mouse. You can uh, click on this one to add a polygon here. Let's say anywhere. Okay. Just like that. You can just add a polygon here. Now again, I will click on this uh, part here. So you can subtract the polygon. So let's say you want to subtract this polygon. You can subtract that one as well. Again, I will click on this line. So there are many bunch of different options. As you can see here that I can move this one. I can rotate this one at, let's say I will set this origin point and I want to rotate it like this. So there are a bunch of a better option and that is going to make your life easy with these options. You can mirror this one. Let's say I'm going to mirror this one just like that. Or if you want to do the copy. So I have shown you whatever, uh, these things uh, for these lines. Okay. 
Now what I will do is I will click on these nodes and let me show you what will happen. If I click on this node, you will see that the pet palette has a different option uh, than these walls as you can see from here as well. So you can just move this node. Okay, you can move this node. You can just chamfer uh, this one, this edge here as well by some radius. Let me cancel that one. You can have uh, this distance. You can see we have seen this one uh, earlier as well. You can add, you can subtract. So there are a bunch of different options available. So in this way, you have to work with uh, the pet palette. Okay, so let's go to, oh, let me press escape here and let me deselect this one. So if you click on this wall and if you uh, click on the centers, you will get these options as well. You can see that these options. So in this way, you have to work with uh, these pet palettes. So obviously, if you're going to choose uh, some different element that have uh, some kind of different uh, uh, option for the pet palettes uh, you can see there are more option as compared to this one okay let me press escape as compared to this node at here so in this way you have to work with pet palette in this lecture we will look at the navigator so what exactly it is so the navigator is uh, uh, something that you can see the palette here. Okay. And this is the uh, palette that is present on the right side of your screen. And this is the navigator. So in navigator, we have, uh, uh, we have uh, these a bunch of options available. Okay. As you can see here, we have this project map. We have uh, this view map. We have this layout book. And at the end, we have the publisher sets. So first of all, let's look at the project map. So project map is something that whatever you're going to create in your model that will contain here. So let's say that you right now you can see the number of a story we have is two. Let's say that you created a 30 story building and in that uh, here you will find the number of story will be 30. Here you will uh, get the section. So let's say that you have created uh, four or five sections. In that case, you will uh, get the section from here. And in elevation, you will see that we have these four elevation that is east, north, south and west. And if you scroll down uh, with the help of uh, your mouse or with the help of this one, you can actually see a bunch of different options as well. You have the interior elevation. You have the worksheets, you have the detail, you have the 3D document and schedules. You have the project indexes, you have the list and infos. Okay. So these are the sum of the things uh, that is uh, present here in this tab. Okay. That is the project map. Okay. Now we will move ahead and we will look at the view map. So let's click on that one. So as you can see here from here as well that it contains the save information, saved information within your project. So as you can see here that we have bunch of different information related with uh, uh, the uh, whether it is a structural plan, whether it is a floor plan, whether it is a story. So you can see from everything here as well as you can see here whether it is a Interior plan. So you will get all these uh, different uh, information with this here. Okay, as you can see. So uh, this is about uh, the view map. Also, what you can do is let's say I will go and select this north elevation. And after that, I will I can go to this setting so that if you want to make any kind of changes here at this one, you can make some changes here as well as you can see here. Okay. So let me close this one. So this is for uh, the view map. Now we will go to the next tab that is uh, layout block. So as you can see here that in this tab, uh, we have a bunch of different options. So here uh, you are going to get the information related that let's say you want uh, to have uh, some information that you want to produce to, so here you will get all these settings so as you can see here that right now we are the sheet index so you can click on this one uh, you can have that sheet index you can go to settings to change this one here as well so you will get all bunch of different option for these as you can see here for elevations and all these things are available here
Now after that, uh, we will go to this last one that is publisher sheds. And here in the publisher set, you are going to get uh, these options here. Okay. Right now you can see that we are at the layout. You can just go ahead and let's click on publisher set. So here you can have uh, these formats available at the elevation. You can have the elevation set as right now it is the format is selected as PDF. If you want to change this to DWF, DXG, and you can change this to any of these. So from here you can just control all this. So 